My whole life, people told me, if you work hard, be a good person, be kind, you'll have success and happiness. But it's not always true. Sometimes you make a mistake that changes everything forever. Damn. Good morning, Mrs. Martin. Breakfast. Oh, thank you, Sonia. I've got a busy day. Scott, could you stop playing your games for a minute and just eat? Baby, I'm not just playing video games. This is the newest update, and I have to make sure- And why we're... are you still in your pajamas? I was thrilled that you're working from home, but you seem to get sloppier and lazier by the day. That's not true. I have a meeting at nine, and I'll put on something else. And then what? You're gonna lay around the couch and play video games all day. I'm not just playing video games. This is research for my video game company. My father sold vacuum cleaners, but that doesn't mean he sat at home vacuuming all day. And he had enough self-respect to actually clean up after himself. Mrs. Martin, I can assure you that Mr. Martin is very clean. Oh. Is that why laundry isn't done when I get home from work? I'm so sorry, Mrs. Martin. My back has been hurting and I've been really slow, but I'll get back to it. That's okay. I've got it covered. No, Vivian. We talked about that. Yes. And I went and did what I was supposed to do in order to not lose my mind over your nonsense. 30 on the dot. On time, just like I like it. What is happening? I think Vivian hired a little extra help. Jasmine, this is Scott and Sonia. Hi. Jasmine, like I said, you'll be helping out Sonia and keeping an eye on Scott so he's not fooling around all day. Oh, I'll be watching you like a hawk. <laughs> Vivian, this is necessary. Don't be pathetic. At least not more than usual. Let me show you around the house. Oh, I think we're going to get along just great, Scott. Hey, is, is that your game? Yeah, it's the new Lightning Fight console version. We're coming up on the release date, and, and uh, there's just so many bugs still. <sighs> Scott, you're so smart. I really admire what you were doing here. Thanks, this is... Uh, Jasmine. What's wrong? Be honest, Scott. I really need you to be more professional at work. Some of the stuff you're doing is making me a little uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. No wonder you're so stressed. I think Vivian doesn't take care of you at all. Well, she really doesn't. Does that feel nice? Yeah, but I, I think I need you to stop, please. Listen, Scott. If there's anything I could do to alleviate your stress, like anything. I'm here for you, Scott. Huh? What do you think? 
I'm up. I'm ready. I'm fully dressed. First thing in the morning. So? So you inspired me. What you said about me being lazy, uh, it doesn't set the right tone for the day. I think this is a whole new me. Congratulations, Scott. You got dressed up. Where do you think that puts you? Hmm? Kindergarten level? First grade, maybe. Yay! Vivian. Vivian, come on. Look, I know something's been wrong for a long time. Just tell me what it is. I'm bored, Scott. You're boring. My friends went to Tahiti last spring, and where did we go? Nowhere. They go out dancing, they go to concerts, they go to resorts, and where do we go? Nowhere. You just sit on that couch playing video games, and I just watch my life pass by. I don't have time to go on a trip right now. I'm in the middle of making this game. And I promise the council comes out soon and we'll have more time and more money. I promise. I don't know if I believe you. Although you did say you were going to start working out tomorrow. So that should be good. Uh, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me you forgot. I'm in the middle of developing this game. The console comes out next week, and there's still so many problems with it. I don't have time right now. I knew it. You were never going to use that equipment. You were just going to sit on that couch playing video games. It is not attractive to me, Scott. OK, fine. I'll start working out tomorrow. Good. Well, I'm sorry you had to see that. How are you feeling, Sonia? Oh, thank you for asking. Ever since Jasmine has took over the laundry, my back has been feeling so much better. Thank you. Well, unfortunately, my back has been killing me. These laundry baskets are so heavy. I don't know if I can keep carrying them. Oh, you poor thing. Tell you what, why don't you use my yoga gear to stretch those sore muscles of yours? Also while keeping an eye on Scott, doing what he promised that he's gonna do. Thank you, Vivian. You're welcome. It's just gonna be you and me. Jasmine being nice to me made me realize how Vivian's cruelty was hurting my feelings. Something was going to have to change. Scott, can you help me? Sure, what's wrong? Oh, it's my back. It's so sore. I can't lift this shirt over my head. Would you take it off for me? Uh, I really don't think that's appropriate. I'm wearing yoga outfit underneath, silly. There's nothing scandalous going on. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, there you go. All set. You're so funny. I like funny guys. Yeah, that's me. Comedian. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm just...
just gonna get back to it. Hey, Sonia, what's up? Hey. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. Scott, I've known you for many years now. And all you have been is kind and caring. You are a man of honor. And you would not break a sacred trust of a marriage. What kind of marriage do you think I have? Vivian practically hates me. You need to believe that good things happen to good people. Yeah, maybe. I'm just gonna run upstairs and grab a shower. But uh, maybe later you and I can have a little talk. Sure. You go relax, Scott. You deserve it. Today was going to be the day. I didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it was Vivian that made me do it. Scott, you wanted to talk? Yeah, uh, I'm just a little nervous. I've, uh, I've never done this before. It's okay, Scott. We can be together and, and Vivian, she doesn't have to know. I knew it. You couldn't keep your hands off of her, could you? That's why I came home early, so I could catch you. Vivian, it's not what it looks like. Oh, isn't it? This is the ultimate betrayal. You let me down again. And I'm divorcing you. And I'm taking everything, Scott. Is that what you want? You really want to leave me? You have no idea. You broke my trust. And you broke my heart. So it's over. You're right about one thing. Trust is the most important thing. And when you lose that, everything changes. What are you talking about? I know your life with me hasn't exactly been what you pictured. You see your fancy friends go on expensive adventures, their rich husbands, and what do you have? I've been developing this game and all you see is some lazy guy on the couch playing video games. I just wish my love was enough for you. Oh, clearly my love was not enough for you. Oh, you stopped loving me a long time ago. That's why when you hired a beautiful maid, I got a little suspicious. I ran a few background checks on Jasmine. You know what I found? Jasmine is not a maid. She's not even a Jasmine. She's an actress you hired to play a part. But I am a maid. Acting doesn't pay me that well. I'm a maid on the side. Yeah, I figured that. That's why I had Sonia follow you around. You what? I was so angry that he had this morning. <laughs> I'm meeting Jungo with him. I look great at tights. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right. Just text me and let me know when I'm supposed to go. Of course. My only question to you is, why'd you wait till now? Fine. 
I knew that once you release your stupid video game, you're gonna get a lot of money. And I want that money for myself, so I could live the life that I deserve without you holding me back. Oh, and, and I was about to get a 10%, sorry. You will. Besides, his video means nothing. My video has the both of you in it, which means it's his word against ours. Scott, that's exactly what we needed her to say. What? You got all that, Sonia? Yes, I recorded it all. She explained her motive and her plan, and that is exactly what the police told us they need to arrest them for extortion and blackmail. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, it would have never worked out between us, Vivian. I would have never broken our trust. That was your mistake. Your cruelty toward me never affected how much I loved you. I just always wanted you to be happy. She didn't realize it. Vivian had given me a gift. Now I'm free to find the person who will truly love me for who I am. Damn. If you're a good person and kind, you'll find success and happiness. Oh. David, I can't stop. You have to leave for the hospital in five minutes. Just hurry up. <coughs> ah! You just ruined my dress! I can't do this anymore. What about my lunch? You just spit it all out on me. I guess you're not that hungry. But honey... Sandra, please take him to the hospital and clean up this mess. Thank you for cleaning me up. You're always so kind. I'd do it myself if I could. David, don't worry about it. I'm just doing my job. Besides, my mom always used to tell me, kindness is the greatest wealth of all. Would you like some more or? No, I'm fine, thanks. Okay. <sighs> These stains will never come out. I feel like a freaking maid feeding him every time. Okay, we're leaving. Bye. Okay. Bye! Your husband would never leave. Come inside before anyone sees you. Are you that ashamed of having a lover? Don't be silly. You know I love you, but we have to keep us a secret for now. Otherwise, we won't get the insurance money. Okay, okay, I know. Okay. I'm sorry you had to bring me here today. What do you mean? My wife should have brought me. It's not your job to take care of me. I really don't mind. Ever since the accident, you've been so good to me. You've even helped me when my own wife wouldn't. Oh, I'm sure. She's just stressed out. It hasn't been that long since the accident happened. I know, but it's been stressful for you too. I just really wish we could afford to pay you for all the additional work you've been doing. But we're still waiting on the insurance money. And we don't know how long that's gonna take. 
I completely understand if you don't want to work with us anymore. I've been working for you for more than five years, and you've always been so nice and so generous to me. Let me take care of you. It's the only way I can repay for your kindness, okay? All right, thanks. Mr. David Larson. Please, let's go to my office. Okay. Uh, no, your wife can wait for you out here. She's not my wife. <laughs> oh, um, I'm so sorry. I just assumed because... It's okay. Again, so sorry. Good luck. Won't your husband notice that the wine is missing? He hasn't had a single drop of alcohol since the accident. Besides, it's not like he can open the cabinet himself. Oh, that's true, I, I didn't think about it. So, how long do we have until he gets back? About an hour. Oh, why are you smiling? Do you have something in mind? Maybe. Wasn't the appointment supposed to take an hour? All the tests came back fine, so they let me out earlier. I was also told that... That what? That there's a high chance for full recovery. I'm so happy to hear that. That's great news. Let's go celebrate? I don't know. I don't need a party or anything like that. Okay, I understand. Let's go home then, and I'll make you a cake. How does that sound? Pretty great, actually. I wish we didn't have to hide. We had this conversation already. We have to wait for the insurance money to come in. And I can't ask for a divorce before that because we're not gonna get anything. I know, I know. I just, I love you. And I really don't feel comfortable with all this sneaking around and with you still living with your husband. I, what if you fall in love with him again? <laughs> fall in love? He can barely move a finger. It's like worse than taking care of a baby. What do you mean? I just don't understand why people like babies. They just eat and poop and cry all the time. Wait, I, I thought you loved kids. But at least babies grow up. And David, he's just gonna get older and more difficult to handle. And I can't stand the idea of living with such an incapable man for the rest of my life. But you loved him before the accident, didn't you? Shh. Crap, they came back early. You're gonna have to get out through the back door. until I come back for you. Oh, well, you're early. All the test results were good, so they let him out early. And they also said he might fully recover. So good to hear. I need to go to the bathroom. Sandra, I got it. Don't worry about it. If you could just run to the store, get something for dinner, that would be great. Sure. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, honey. I'll be back in a minute. you again. I don't know. Go. Just one more kiss. No. Mm. Go. All right, I'll see you okay. soon. Okay. I can't believe you peed yourself. I called for you. I told you I couldn't do this by myself. I'm not your nurse. And I don't want to be spending the rest of my life taking care of you this way. I'm sick of it. What do you want? David? I'm here. I'm sorry for how my wife behaved. She isn't usually like that. I know. And I know I've been saying this a lot lately, but thank you for helping me. Hello, this is David. Really? Okay. Thank you. That's great news. Okay, all right. Okay, bye bye now. We're getting the insurance money. Oh my God. I'm so happy to hear that. I should call my wife. Can you call her? Of course. Oh, I think she left her phone at home. What is it? Because you might not like what you see. Show me the phone. somewhere here. I got a call from the insurance company. Really? what they say? We're getting the money. That, that is great news. Finally, I'll be able to, we'll be able to go to Hawaii just like I always dreamed. After all the stuff that happened, after all the suffering, I believe I deserve a treat. A treat, huh? Like, like your secret lover? What do you mean? Oh, don't lie to me. I already miss your sweet lips. Your phone was in the bedroom. I saw the whole conversation with your lover, Andrew. No, you really misunderstood it. There's nothing serious going on. Oh, so there's nothing serious about you running off with the insurance money with your boy toy? I'm not even angry with you for falling in love with another man. I knew from the minute I woke up in that hospital after the accident that I wasn't gonna be able to provide you with the love and care I promised you on our wedding day. 
So, you're not mad at me? And you're still willing to share the money? Even though I fell for another guy? I'm not mad. But it hurt me that you lied. You had so many opportunities to tell me the truth. And yet, you kept lying. You hid this affair from me for months. So am I getting the money or not? No, Carrie. I need this money for my recovery. Oh, and I don't deserve the money. I did not suffer from any of this at all. And I took care of you for nothing. I've already contacted my lawyer. You'll be getting divorce papers soon. And if you try to get any of this money, I'll see you in court. Now, get out of my house. David. Get out. I heard the whole conversation. And I think you made the right decision. Why doesn't it feel like the right decision then? Maybe it doesn't feel right because the whole situation was wrong. It's hard to believe that people we love the most can hurt us so bad. You always have such kind words, Sandra. Remember? Kindness, Kindness is the greatest wealth of all. Well, I hope my soon-to-be ex-wife will understand that one day. Looking fine as ever, Miss Fine. What? You don't have a second to talk with your boss? I'm so sorry, Mr. Burcroft. I came in early. I have these reports I have to prepare for Susan, so I'm gonna go. I could make your life so much easier if you just gave me what I wanted. I think this is really appropriate. So. Or I could make it hell. Up to you, honey. turned Plex into one of the finest sustainable home decor companies in the world. And I'm leaving it in a much better place than I found it. With cheaper prices, sustainable goods. I can say I've created a legacy. And I'm really proud of it. To be honest, I want to leave before I screw it up. About that legacy. In doing my research, I've discovered that in your flagship store in Burbank, morale is at an all-time low. People are quitting faster than they can be hired. Even the police have been called a few times. I beg your pardon? P police? Yeah, I've been doing some hunting around. This isn't just some puff piece. I found out that there are some pretty serious accusations being made like sexual harassment. Why don't I know anything about it? I would guess that somebody in the management there is suppressing it. Every single person I spoke to did so anonymously. They were too scared to speak on the record. I guess I'm not done yet. I need to find out what's happening there and stop it. So you're not quitting yet? Oh, no. In fact, I'm about to embark on the best adventure of my life. So I'm telling staff that you're a new buyer, Nancy Hawks. Nancy will be spending half her first day in store so she can get a better feel for what it's like here at Ground Zero. Then, she'll be back at the corporate later today. Great. Thanks for setting this up, Tyler. I really appreciate it. Of course. Is there anything else I can do for uh, you? No, not right now. I'll come find you later. Okay, hey, be good. <sighs> Hi. 
Hi. Hi, I'm Nancy Hawks. I'm the new buyer here. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. Tyler told us so much about you. I'm Sarah, Sarah Fine. I work in accounts, but um, buying is what I would love to do most. Thank you. I'm just spending my morning on the shop floor, you know, looking around, getting familiar with how things run here, what customers like, dislike, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, I could show you around if you'd like me to. Oh, I love that. Thank you. We launched the Nora Jones collection last week, and people are going crazy for it. Yeah, they are a great line. I remember recommending them. Yeah, Nora's right up there for me. But I have my eye on a new designer called Pop and Candy, mm. and I think they're going to be a really big hit. You should check them out. Pop and Candy? They must be really new. I don't remember hearing about them. You know, you should recommend... I mean, obviously, I'm the new buyer here, so I'll just take a look at them. But I was wondering what it's like to be working here. I mean, day-to-day, -day, average mood among staff. It's okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's not really the stunning endorsement. Well, it's good. Oh, uh, could you elaborate? You look really familiar. Oh, I have one of those faces, you know. Let's just continue the tour. Right, right. All right, right this way. And last but not least, the employee kitchen with your usual coffee pot and a fridge. So there you have it. It's really nice. Nice and cozy. Yeah. Sarah, it's been a great tour. Thank you so much. Of course. Coffee? Coffee on me? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. So, now let's get down to the real nitty gritty. I've heard some rumors about the workplace atmosphere here not being so great. What can you tell me about it? Um, well, look. We're on the same side. You can tell me. You've been here exactly how long? Just a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And in that time, how many people have you seen quit? Well, um, it's been really weird. But like on the floor, we've lost four people. And up in corporate, from what I've heard, three people have gone. Oh. And what would you attribute it to? I don't... Come on, Sarah. You gotta have an opinion. Okay. The senior VP up in corporate He's, um... Alan? Alan Burncroft. Yeah. Well, he has a reputation for not being as professional as he should be. Sarah, you gotta stop dancing around. What kind of stuff is he doing? Well... He's a real piece of work, to be honest. And I know that some people in authority positions can be salty just because they're pulling in the sales. For God's sake. Well, I guess he's making a lot of money for Blake's. What kind of stuff is he doing that makes him a... You know what? Well, it's his attitude, firstly. No one can do anything right. It's his way or the highway. And he's just a walking pile of ego. 
And when I first got here, people were complaining that nobody got their holiday bonus. And everyone thinks he might be involved. Wait, they didn't get their bonuses? That's odd. Well, maybe corporate didn't make as much money as they thought they did. Oh, they sure did. All I'm saying is that when I was onboarded, I got to look at the sales figures. And there was a lot of money earmarked for the holiday bonus. So that's really strange that no one got one. Well, it's been really, really illuminating. Thank you. Thank you for your honesty and your candidness, Sarah. But um, I gotta head upstairs to the corporate now. Catch up later. So, how's it been going? Learn anything? Ah, oh, a couple of things. And both of them lead back to our SVP of sales, Ellen Burncroft. Let's have a walk now. He was hired by someone who loved the company months ago, so I've never actually met him in person. Just in his name and some emails, papers. Hmm. But I've learned he's been involved in two sexual harassment cases that were dropped for lack of evidence. What can you tell me about him, Tyler? Well, he does seem to operate under a kind of black cloud. I rarely work with him directly, but he acts as though he runs the place. Most people here can't stand him. I'd like you to arrange a meeting with him, Tyler. Hey, move it. Out of the way. Alan, I'd like you to meet Nancy Hawks. She's joining us as a buyer. Alan Burncroft is our senior VP of sales. Nice to meet you, Alan. Yeah, whatever. Jeez. He's not gonna win any awards for Mr. Congeniality, huh? Like I said, Black Cloud. So, where do you wanna go next? I wanna take a closer look. No problem. Oh, and uh, I'd like to speak to that Sarah Fine, again. There is something she's not telling. Something's going on with her. How's it going, Sarah? What can I help you with, Mr. Burncroft? <sighs> oh, I think you know. You know, my back is really killing me. You don't get massages, do you? I'm not very good at those. Well, why don't you go ahead and try? I don't think that's a good idea. You know, the work you've been turning in lately isn't good enough. What do you mean? Yeah. I don't know what your deal is. The work you've been turning in is really sloppy. But that can't be because I double and triple check everything. Well, if that's the best you can do, I don't know. Well, what mistakes have I made? Hmm. Maybe it's you who are a little stressed. Maybe you need a back rub, Sasha. Well, uh... Listen, let's get one thing straight between us. If you want to continue working here, you're going to have to do a lot more than check your work three times. I can check it four times or five times, whatever works. Or you could just play ball. You know, I rub your back. You rub mine. You understand? I'm not sure I do. I. Come in! Oh. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no. Come on in. How's your morning going? Good, good. Thanks for asking. I am learning all sorts of things, you know. Well, I'm gonna let you two ladies catch up. Uh, Sarah, 
I'll come find you later. Is everything okay, Sarah? Yeah. Everything's fine. What can I help you with? Um, yeah, I, uh, I wanted to know more about this poppin' candy designer. I was wondering if you have anything you could show me, right. maybe? Uh, there it is. Pretty incredible stuff, huh? Wow. I mean, wow. That's insanely good stuff. I haven't heard of them before. I spend my free time on TikTok and Instagram just scouting out new designers. It's really like my hobby, but I really love doing it. And it's not just candy I found. There's also Carolyn Jacobs, there's House of Alexic, the Kush Sisters. It's pretty great stuff. You should totally be a buyer. Yeah, like anyone would hire me without a portfolio. <sighs> Good point. Well, maybe one day the gods will smile on you. You never know. By the way, did I... Did I walk in on anything I shouldn't have? Oh God, no. No, no. Mr. Burncroft is just the big boss around here, so we were talking shop. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, okay. Sorry for making any assumptions. That's okay. McKay, Miss Nancy, I have that paperwork you asked for. Oh, thank you, Tyler. Gotta go now. Thanks for showing me who those designers were, Sarah. You've got a real eye. Don't you ever forget that. Five people were scheduled to get a holiday bonus last year. None of them got it. I did a trace to see where that money went, and... It looks like someone altered the paperwork to show that it was diverted. And that's where the trail goes cold. And who would be responsible for that? Ah, that would be our good friend, Alan Burncroft. Huh. Alan Burncroft. That name again. Then, what do you say we go pay him a visit? You're the boss. I sure am, Tyler. I sure am. Hey, Sarah. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about this uh, report you submitted on Tuesday. Uh, would you mind meeting me in the kitchen? Great. All right. I'll see you there in a few. I think it's time we finish our conversation, Sarah. Yeah, I get it. You're new here. You don't know how the business works yet. Well, I'm gonna make it real simple. You give me what I want, and you get to keep your job. Couldn't be any simpler. You make me happy, and I'll make you very happy. Mr. Burncroft, Alan, I know what you're after, and I'm not that kind of person. Shoot, where is he? Well, I have no idea. <sighs> Look, I'm not a monster. Maybe we can find a compromise. We can take it real slow. Look, I know you're a powerful man. I just... You don't know how powerful I am. Look, I have a boyfriend, and I'm not interested in whatever this is. I don't... Time's up, Sarah. I'm done playing these games. You're mine now. Hey! Get your hands off her, Burncroft! This is purely consensual. Sarah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, we have 
everything you've just said and done recorded. Oh, not only that, I've also got proof that you've been playing around with our finances and pocketing money intended to go for bonuses. You're just a buyer. What the hell do you know about companies' finances? Hmm, about that. Surprise, surprise. I'm Michaela Robinson, your CEO. Oh, and not only are you fired, with what we have on our phones and Sarah's testimony, you're gonna get sued to kingdom come and go to jail. We've got the goods this time. So how's that sound, Mr. Broomcroft? Like it when I scratch your back. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I, I trust there has been quite a turnaround in the store's mood after we got rid of Burncroft, right? <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Your timing was amazing. Hallelujah. Anyways, I've come to say goodbye. I can officially resign now now that the things are taken care of. Almost taken care of. Sarah, could we please talk in your office when you've got a minute? Um, sure. I wish you the best of luck. Please take care of yourselves and the company. Bye for now. Do you remember you told me that you wanted to become a buyer? I didn't know how you could break into it. And I told you that maybe one day the gods will smile on you and that sort of thing. Well, Sarah, today's that day. What do you say to becoming Blake's latest buyer? Oh my God. I say, Yes, please. <laughs> then you made my day. Ah, my last day at Blake's. Ah, emotional. Anyways, HR will take care of everything from here. I just wanted to bring you the news and offer you the job that you were made to do in person. Thank you so much, Michaela. I don't know what else to say. Just do a good job. Oh, and um, I also made some changes in the chain of command so that no one can operate in secrecy anymore. That way, there will be no more Alan goddamn Burncrofts fiddling the bonuses or harassing women under the radar. Sarah, thanks for your commitment. The future of the store's success is now on you. And the pop and candy. And Carolyn Jacobs and the Kush sisters and Alexic and anyone else you said your fabulous talented eyes on. <laughs> <laughs>